This is a tricky little one, but shouldn't be a problem. say it shouldn't have been a problem the fact he forced it a little bit made the pot slightly more difficult but it's just pressure now isn't it Willie it's all about who holds themselves together can I ask you a question Jim why has he not stunned it in just on and off one cushion a little shake of the head one well there's so much tension involved in the deciding frame and it's just who can hold themselves together Has he stuck on the red? Eight. Touching ball. He's just okay though. When I say he's just okay. Right. Does the black still go? Got the blue over the pocket, but he doesn't want to be taking that. Yeah, just enough room. Sixteen. Yes, Ken won't kind of kick himself quite so hard now about the kick because he has had another chance to win the frame and match and that last really missed. He'll be probably more disappointed that about that now than the kick because usually when you have a bit of bad fortune you don't get another 17. chance, but at least he's had another chance. Will he get another one? Twenty-four. It's been a great match to commentate on. We've had a bit of everything. Thirty-one. A couple of awkward frames where the balls went. Thirty-two. Very difficult. Ronnie won those then. Ken came storming back to level it. Both players making sizable breaks. But this is a great chance for Ronnie. 39. There's the pot success rate. Creeping up all the time. 40. Yes, if this wasn't the last and deciding frame, you would say this is definitely a frame winning opportunity. But the fact that it's frame and match winner, there's always that little bit more tension involved. And he was reluctant to say he's sure to go on a win from here, but he's two or three shots away from making it very, very straightforward. They're all a little bit clustered at the moment to the left of the pink. And that's the reason, as he always does, he never refuses a chance to make things easier. Now, once 47. again, not many players in the game would have played the kiss like that then. It's the cue power of Ronnie and the way he got into that shot, the white just kept on spinning. It didn't stick in the reds, it just kept on spinning. But yeah, I mentioned earlier in the match even when we had the couple of tactical frames, I've never seen Ronnie so focused. Yes, I think he's had a lot to prove, hasn't he, Dennis? Uh, not only to himself, but to, to everybody else that surrounds Ronnie O'Sullivan. And uh, fifty-four, we've said a million times, is our prize asset. But you've got to give the game the respect it deserves, and he's done it 55. today. Yeah, you've got to feel a little bit sorry for Ken Doherty, who's very, very popular with all snooker fans. 61. 
Okay, there's a lot of cheering for Ronnie when we got to a deciding frame, but Ken was just uh, well, one shot away from getting into the semi final. That kick spoiled it. That's the one he was looking 70. for. Ken Doherty now at the snooper's required stage. Well, he's undoubtedly taken over from Stephen Hendry as the best closer of concert matches I've ever seen. When he gets a chance to win frame and match, he just seems to improve. 78. But he's doing it in style. 85. He really is. We've had Six. everything in this match, barring a century break. And he could finish with one. He's already had 461 93. centuries in his career. 94. This will be one of the best. That's such a crucial point. Ninety-eight. Ninety-nine. <clears throat> One hundred and one. One hundred and three. One hundred and six. Ken Doherty, the gentleman and the sport that he is, will come forward and smile and shake Ronnie's hand. But it's been a terrific match. And both players have played their part. One hundred and fifteen. It was difficult to pick a winner at the mid-session interval. 